the enthusiasm is still there. It's getting higher than it was when it was already high during the vote. This is a must for us if we're going to survive. Power is in numbers. We all know that. What do we want? And when do we want it? Now! What do we want? And when do we want it? Atlantic City is one of the strongest union cities, I think, in the country. Every part of Atlantic City, from the construction phase to the healthcare industry to the casino industry, um, is represented by union. Uh, one of the few groups had been the casino dealers for the longest time, and also the slot technicians. They haven't been unionized either. We voted overwhelmingly to uh, bring the UAW in. Our vote was 572 to 128. It was definitely a statement. Coming out of the victory of March of 2007, we were really pumped up, fired up, and it really kind of brought us together as, a, as, as workers. We just had a major landslide. Everybody was screaming and hollering on the street, in the break rooms, in the hallways, high-fiving everyone. Yes, yes, no. And then yes, 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 approximately 20 times. And we finally, for the first time, felt that um, we weren't at the, the mercy of our managers and supervisors and uh, presidents. They will be different now that we have our union. I proud myself, I proud our Chinese dealer, Asia dealer, and all dealer. The energy was just amazingly wonderful. And, um, and then Bally's just came up with the most ridiculous kinds of charges of uh, how they felt that the vote should be thrown out, like it was just something that was bogus. Overwhelmingly, the dealers, we came together, they said once, if, if, all, if this is something all the dealers wanted to do, that they were going to come to the table in good faith. So far, they haven't uh, came, came to the table in good faith. We had the election, we beat them in a large margin, uh, fair. We want our words to be, our words to count, our votes to count. We're disappointed, we're angry. Um, a good majority of us are angry because we felt we've been uh, lied to again that, that they, if they said everybody, all the dealers want this union, that they would come to the table in good faith. So far they haven't. I think they're stonewalling. I think they're buying for time. The casinos don't want us to have power. We don't want to use this power but we want them to know we have it if we need it. I think they're afraid of us. We were seeing our coworkers becoming ill with various upper respiratory problems to all sorts of cancers, you know, all the big array of um, health conditions. The dealers and the slot technicians and, and the cocktail waitresses, those who um, work on the front lines, if you will, on the casino floors are the ones most affected by secondhand smoke. The UAW played a great part um, and getting the dealers organized and rallying up. We won six elections, we won the smoking ban, and we're gonna, we're gonna get the, we're gonna win this contract. We're not going back. There's no way we're going back to what was. We're here today on behalf of, of the UAW in Region 9 to announce that uh, on the 21st of June that uh, many of our brothers and sisters from the tri-state area are gonna come to Atlantic City in support of what these sisters and brothers are trying to achieve. Thank you. We need to show management that we are united. Saturday, June 21st, we have a rally at 12.30 in Atlantic City. Uh, another unions from the tri-state area, uh, they're going to come in town to give us some support and let the management know that we're still here and we're going to be here. We're going to let them know in a very public way that we're for the union, that we want a contract, that we're good workers for the city of Atlantic City, and that uh, we're not going to be denied. We are going to win, absolutely, because we're not going to give up. We will not give up. These games that they're playing, the fight that they're doing, is not discouraging us, it's angering us. And what fuel of fire in a heart does anger do to someone? We have to fight back, if not for ourselves, but for our kids. They're not going to roll over and play dead for us. They brought in their high-powered lawyers. They're, they're already showing us where they're coming from. We need to show them that we are strong, too. They have to take notice. They have to listen to us now. With the union, we'll have the power for our, the things that are essential for us to maintain the American standard of life, the American way of life.
We want good contracts for all our brothers and sisters throughout the city of Atlantic City. June 21st, I cannot emphasize enough. Everybody needs to go. We need everybody to go. It's, it's extremely crucial that you demonstrate the power that we really do have um, because it's showtime and uh, we're out to get a contract, aren't we? I'm going to be there and so should you.